Last week we told you about uh, Magdalena Nelson, who is a woman in Vegas who found um, Jesus on her toilet seat. Uh, before we talk to Magdalena, uh, we're going to show you a little clip from a local news station there uh, on this story so you know uh, what the context of this is. So he he here she is in, in Vegas. New tonight on Action News, we've heard about people seeing religious images and just about everything. Toast, tortillas, even a salsa stain on a woman's cupboard. Well, tonight a Las Vegas woman claims there's an image of Jesus on the lid of her toilet seat. The <laughs> police sergeant just couldn't let this one go down the drain. You go ahead and go in. It's decorated Vegas cheese ball style. Yes, you could call it the royal flush. Magdalena Nelson's oh, guest bathroom oh, screams, I love Las Vegas. <laughs> I get a little choked up because it's so silly and it's so funny, but it really just made my day. Yeah. It really made my day. And by that, she's referring to what she says appeared while she was cleaning. The face of Jesus came out. Take a look. Do you see it? Look closer. Magdalena swears Jesus is there, and he appeared just when she thought her financial situation was literally in the... <laughs> I oh, said, please, holy... <laughs> and I went from every angle... And I looked, and I looked, and I called my boyfriend in, and it was there. What did you think when your girlfriend said, I see Jesus in a bumper sticker on our toilet? I thought it was ridiculous. <laughs> I thought she was crazy. But once he looked closer, he says he now sees the image plain and clear. So do you think that it might, there's something to it? Oh, I hope so. It, it, it's, it's helped us feel better. Like, we've been kind of going through tough times. It's kind of brought us up a little bit, brought our spirits up that day. And now they say praying to the porcelain god has taken on a whole new meaning. Ever since Magdalena discovered the sign on Thursday, she says this bathroom is literally off limits to the family. Magdalena says she'll protect the image as long as she can. And however it got there, she believes timing is everything. So when I saw that, it was just, bing, okay, we're going to be all right, no matter what. The economy's in the toilet, but maybe we're going to be all right. And next thing you know, bing, we have Magdalena Nelson on the show. <laughs> Magdalena, welcome to the Young Turks. Hello, how are you? Oh, we're lovely. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. Now, Magdalena, when we first did that clip, uh, we thought that perhaps you were a stripper. Now, uh, <laughs> uh, first, uh, disabuses of the notion. Uh, are you now or have you ever been a stripper? No. No, I have not. Um, that's just a preconceived notion that most people have of hot chicks in Vegas. And um, you know what? Everything in Vegas is so over the top, and we're so over the top in glitz and glamour and everything else that um, that's just what everybody thinks. Because there is a lot of hot chicks in Vegas, and some of our strippers, and I love strippers. Don't mind you, anything like that. I love strippers. They make Vegas go around. Uh, and, um, you know, hey. I'm a bartender, and, you know, maybe I'm not on stage taking my top off every single night, but I am on stage um, serving drinks, doing my thing, doing what I do. Um, you know, whatever. We're all on stage here, and that's what's fun about it. All right. God bless. Don't get me wrong, man. I love strippers. <laughs> I don't want anybody <laughs> to mistake me, okay, for what I'm saying. All right. But so, but have you ever worked as a dancer at all? No. Never worked as a dancer. All right. God yeah. bless. All right. Now, do you, when you saw the clip, did you um, did you hate us or did you think? No, oh. no. I laughed. I laughed because it's not the first and it's not the last time anyone's gonna ever say that about me, and that's fine. Whatever. It basically to me. Um, means to find a hot chick in Vegas. That's fine. That's fine. That's not so bad, right? I mean, things no, could be worse than being a hot chick in Vegas, right? But I have so many friends that are bartenders and cocktail waitresses, and I do have friends that are strippers. And you know what? We do what we do here in Sin City, and why do you guys flock here so much if you don't like us? Ah, it's a great point, man. That's true. Well, you know, we come to see you, Magdalena. God bless. Okay. <laughs> Where do you work, by the way, in case I need to get I a drink? I work at Red Rock Casino. Red Rock Casino. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mental note on that one. Okay, so uh, so what are you going to do with the toilet seat? You, you don't really think it's Jesus. Come on. You know what? I don't understand um, a lot of religions. I've dabbled in a little bit here and there and stuff, but the only thing that I know that if Jesus Christ does come into your heart, you are filled with joy. And that day when I saw Jesus on my bumper sticker or what I perceived as Jesus, my heart was filled with joy, and everybody that I showed it to, all my friends, all my, you know, coworkers and stuff like that, they all got a good, good kick out of it. They all laughed. They all thought it was hilarious. So their hearts were filled with joy. So if that's Jesus, then that's Jesus to us, at least. 
You know, Magdalena, you're really sweet, so I, I really appreciate that. But uh, when I saw the picture, I thought it looked a little more like Charles Manson. Uh, well, did you ever consider that? I did. No, right away I said Jesus because that would be the funniest thing ever. Jesus in my toilet in Las Vegas in Sin City. Um, maybe Charles Manson looks a little bit like Jesus. It's not my fault. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, what were the, some of the other religions you tried? Um, no, I just went straight for Jesus. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, like, you were sure it wasn't all of it? No. Okay, right. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. What would he be doing in Vegas? I have a question. I not. Um, do you think that the photo of Jesus or the, in your bumper sticker has, like, magical powers? Are you going to, like, start charging people to come in and maybe cure, you know, illnesses and things like that? Oh, my God. I'm not, like, <laughs> if I could cure illnesses, I would cure my son. I have a special needs little boy. And if I could walk you through one day of my life, what I actually do besides being, like, the bimbo stripper-esque girl on TV, you would be really, really amazed. So if I could cure diseases with that, I would cheer my son, first of all. I, look, okay. Magdalena, you're s so <laughs> sweet. I mean, I, so it's funny, you know, because we make these random comments about people every once in a while. And then, you're, of course, you're real. You see the comments, and you're uh, nothing like that. But, uh, you know, but I did read, to go back to Jackie's question, though, which is, because it's a fair question. I, I, it, I think they said it at the end of that broadcast that you were thinking of selling it. Are, are you thinking of selling the toilet? I thought about it, and I, it is on eBay, and the minimum bid is $10,000. But at this point, um, the media and everything that I've got from it and what it's meant to me and the smiles that it's made me and my friends have, I don't think I will sell it. Unless I get, like, an absorbent amount where it's just, like, unthinkable and I would go for it. Um, I think I'm gonna pull it from eBay. Ten grand would not even do me okay. any good. Are, are there any bids yeah. yet? Um, there's people watching it, people questioning about it, and stuff like that. And um, I, uh, at this point, I think I would probably just want to do my own thing with it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's it's silly, it's funny, it's Vegas. Um, you know, hopefully the mayor Oscar Goodman jumps in on it. I've emailed him to see what he has to say because you know he's he's a little bit of a crazy man himself. Who knows? I represent Vegas. This is what I do. This is my town, and I love it. Well, how did you reach, like, the amount of $10,000, I'm wondering? Is that how much, like, Jesus would cost? Or anything? I'm curious. Um, <laughs> like, is that just how much you need right now? Maybe. No, like, or... no. It was just a bid that we, a couple of my friends were over, and we all decided. We saw the, um, we downloaded the grilled cheese girl, and she went for twenty eight grand, and so I just started at ten grand. i am like... Just throw it up there, ten grand, see what happens. But you know what? At nice. ten grand, I don't even think I would sell it at this point. Oh, okay. Well, we got a bit higher. Yeah. Uh, you would sell it for twenty-eight grand. I, we're just having so much fun with it. Who knows where it's going to go? I don't know. I can't say yes or no. Never say never. All right. Okay. Smart choice. Uh, and uh, so uh, now I'm curious, Magdalena. Where do we find it on? We'll find it on eBay. How do we find it? Um, I think if you just punch in. Jesus image on toilet or something like that. I don't even know. Just what is Jesus it in toilet and, and, and then it pops something will up. pop up. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it's going to pop up. It's some of those keywords, I'm not sure. Crazy lady in Vegas, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Magdalena Nelson, we really appreciate you coming on and, and talking about it. You're, you're yeah, great no, sport. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Magdalena. And we'll come okay. by if we're in Vegas, okay? Watch the live show at theyoungturks.com.